Okay, dear guests, today we have three lines of pitches. And first block, it is pitches about infrastructure and decentralized finances. And now I want to invite Mr. Yegor Vinogradov. He will present you Startup Market. It is Telegram-based infrastructure project. Let's present him. Mr. Yegor Vinogradov, come here, please. Okay, yes, they will not come. Let's turn on only video. They said that it will be not offline, only online. Yes, turn on, please. Shh. Yes. With the background in software development for more than 10 years, including in Silicon Valley. I'm going to present our project called Startup Market. Startup Market is a crowdfunding through crypto. It's not ICO, IDO, or some specific crypto thing. It's a regular crowdfunding platform where you can fund projects like smart devices or games, or for example, we have a recycling social project or even B2B service for suppliers. Uh, these are examples of real projects that we currently have on our platform. Question, why do we need startup market when there's already Kickstarter? The problem with Kickstarter and, and similar services is that they are not actual crowdfunding. Rather, it's more like crowd marketing. And let me tell you why. I actually had experience with Kickstarter. I used to live in Silicon Valley. We launched a startup there, raised funds, and planned to promote it on Kickstarter. We started working with a marketing agency on our campaign, but quickly realized that we could not really afford it. It would have been too expensive, time consuming, and complicated. Why? Well, first of all, let me ask, what usually comes to mind when you hear the word crowdfunding? Well, I guess, firstly, you have an idea for a product, right? And secondly, the people give you the money to transform your idea into a real product. So that, that's why it's crowdfunding, funding by the crowd. However, on Kickstarter and similar services, this doesn't work. To get listed on Kickstarter, you must already have a working product, not just the idea. How it works. You call Kickstarter, you demonstrate them uh, how your prototype works. If they like it, they will approve you. But if you don't have a prototype, only the idea, they won't let you in. Uh, the second problem is the model called all or nothing. On Kickstarter, you must put the exact amount of money you plan to raise and the exact time frame in which you plan to raise it. For example, I want to raise $100,000 in one month. Okay, but here's the problem. If I don't raise the full amount of money, for example, only raise $90,000, $90, I won't get anything. All the money collected will be returned back to the people and you basically waste your time. Because of this, any campaign on Kickstarter turns into a very intense marketing marathon. You will have to prepare it very well. You'll have to spend a lot of money on Kickstarter. Uh, have to spend a lot of money on marketing. In our case, we estimated the costs to be around $20,000 uh, for just one Kickstarter campaign. Could be more. And uh, the third problem is a limited market. Kickstarter is only for the US market. And by the way, to start a campaign, you must have a corporation registered in the US. Otherwise, they won't let you in. Uh, so the summary is that Kickstarter is simply a marketing tool with a very high entry barriers. And you could not really crowdfund your project there. You can only make sales. And in order to do that, you need to be an established company with a working product and tens of thousands of dollars for marketing. So how do we solve these problems? Our mission is to reduce the entry barrier for crowdfunding. Firstly, uh, we don't have such strict moderation as Kickstarter does. We don't act as judges. We don't decide which projects should live or die. Instead, we let people choose if they want to invest in them or not. Uh, we are also more flexible in terms of different types of projects. For example, we accept web free projects. Secondly, we don't limit the fundraising period. You can set an unlimited deadline and have your fundraising continue for as long as you need. Thirdly, 
we, we are very oriented towards the global market, not just one country's market. In the future, we'll add translation tools so that the projects on our platform can easily reach audiences in any country. We also don't impose legal requirements on project creators. You don't need to register a company in the US to create a campaign on our platform. It's up to you uh, to decide which rules you need to follow based on your jurisdiction. And finally, we accept donations in cryptocurrency. And we allow project creators to receive their funds in crypto as well. Currently, we accept the ton crypto. In the future, we'll use smart contracts to have creators receive money in milestones. So what does that mean? It means that once creators finish a certain milestone, they get access to the next part of the money in order to work on the next milestone. They don't get all the money right away. They get them in parts. This solves the problem with reliability and trust. Uh, by the way, why do we accept payments specifically in Ton? Well, uh, we've been working with Ton for a long time. For example, we created AppChain. It's kind of an app store for Ton projects. Currently, we're in the process of applying for financing from Ton Foundation. I actually spoke with the Ton Foundation and they gave they gave good feedback. I also messaged Andrew Ragozov, Andrei Ragozov, the head of the Ton Foundation. Andrew and I actually used to work together at BK.com, the Russian social network. Andrew is the ex-CEO. We met a few times. So I, I really like that he joined Tong. We really, we really love Tong. Okay, uh, next, let me tell you what we achieved so far. Uh, the project founded this summer. We started coding the platform in September. Last month, we released the alpha version. We have a team, currently six people, including two developers, a designer, and a product manager. Uh, and we've just started raising investments. We've just raised 150K, uh, planning to raise more, and happy to talk to investors. The funds are needed for marketing and development. Okay, and let me tell about the team. Um, okay, here's Alex Gabov. He's the founder of this project. He has 20 years of business experience, including two years in China, several offline businesses. He opened factories in Russia and Kazakhstan. He was the official supplier of one of the largest European retailers. He's been doing crypto trading for the last two years. About me again, my name is Igor Vinogradov. I'm a tech entrepreneur. I've been doing software development for over 10 years, working both in startups and tech giants, including VK.com, one of the largest social networks. I worked in Silicon Valley for four years and founded my own startup there and raised venture financing. Um, we also have a strong product manager and also a front end and a backend developer and designers. So that's basically it. Once again, very briefly, we are startup market, crowdfunding with a low entry barrier suitable for Web3 projects as well. We've released the alpha version. We have a strong team with extensive business experience, including in Silicon Valley. And we've just raised 150K, planning to raise more, so we are happy to talk to investors. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. These guys are watching us online now.